Hi, it's Jo from Minerva. Today we're going to have a look at some sateen fabrics. That's a cotton, uh, similar to what I'm wearing right now. And we're going to look at some patterns to match with working with sateen. Sateen is a cotton fabric and although it sounds like the word satin, you won't get a really shiny finish. You'll just get a really dense, textured, smooth finish um, that takes really vibrant colours. So one of the features of sateen fabric is their really bright colours and designs. The qualities of sateen are a very dense fabric that takes a very bright colour and some of them have uh, an amount of stretch. So it's perfect for making really fitted clothes. So this is a vintage pattern for a 1960s dress. It's got pockets and a cut out back. Oh, I haven't done the button up. And it's good because you get that element of stretch across here and you can make it quite fitted, but still get some arm movement. So look out for sateens that have an amount of stretch. I have tried to order the patterns in order of uh, complexity, but that is quite difficult because I've chosen quite a wide range of patterns today because sateen can be used for lots of different purposes. The first pattern that I've chosen is New Look 6483. It's quite an old pattern, but it's still in production for a range of shell tops. And these are great for sateen because um, sateen is opaque, so you can make them without them being lined. And when you add the facings, you get a really crisp finish like on here. You get a really lovely neckline that stays as it is and put. And my first fabric is a really vibrant one because that's what I want to show you that a sateen is. It's a cotton. A John Caldor one, this one. This one is a lighter fabric, so that's lighter than the one I'm wearing. So you wouldn't get a structured dress with this, but you could make something with gathers because it's got enough drape to gather. It's a light to medium weight and it's 57 inches wide. It's a beautiful dress um, that I've seen on Minerva here. You can see it ha this fabric from that picture has got enough drape just to take the shoulders down. So it's really comfortable. So that is a Lizano John Caldor sateen. And it would be great for the shell top because you wouldn't be cutting into the big florals. So you'll get lots of nice floral placement on the front of your top. My second fabric is for a teen pattern. I really like this teen pattern. It is a Butterick 3860 and it's got tr a full wardrobe, trousers, shorts, dress and the sleeveless dress. And the fabric I'm going to show you isn't suitable for all of them. Um, the one I'm showing you is suitable for the trousers. Um, some of the other ones will be suitable for the top because they'll have more drape. But this one is a slightly heavier weight. This is a red and white spot. It's 57 inches wide. It has got 15% stretch in the width. So not in that direction, but you'll get an element of stretch. So that's the same as this fabric composition. It's 97% cotton and 3% spandex. And this one, is much more suited to structured items so any dress that has pleats um, any sort of vintage wiggle dresses where you just need that little bit of extra give but it's perfect for the trousers on Butterick 3860 but look out for some of the other fabrics that I'm going to show you today to make some of the other items my third fabric is one of my favorites today this one is a medium weight, but although it's a medium weight, it's still got a beautiful drape. It has the most beautiful soft hand. It's so smooth. And the design is really classic. It comes in two colours, ivory or navy. So you get a different background. It's got 10% stretch. So again, you'll get that really nice yoke or sh shoulder give. And it's 55 inches wide. 
perfect for a shirt. A lady shirt would look beautiful in this, really classic, last a long time if you make it well. And the pattern I've chosen is the I Am Juliet pattern. And look at this one. It's got the buttons down the back and the collar down the back. The collar is open at the back. And then you've got darts in the front that give it that sort of uh, great shirt for wearing with jeans. Quite a petite style. If you've not used an I Am pattern before, they're French. So you will get um, sizes 36 to 46. But the fabric would be suitable for lots of different dresses. Anything structured, anything with a facing. You would get gathers with that because it's just a little bit more fluid than the previous one. Really beautiful fabric. My next fabric will also be good for shirts, but this one for a shirt with more detail because this is a lighter weight. So again, this is a Lizano. It's 100% cotton and it's 57 inches wide, but this one's much lighter. So this one um, is better for a shirt with more details or any of those um, tops from the teenage pattern. It would make those or the dress from the teenage pattern because it's just got a little bit more drape and it's lighter particularly good for summer tops and blouses would also make the shell top the new look shell top that i just showed you but the pattern that i've paired it with is the deer and doe bruyere shirt because you've got these pleats here you get a really crisp iron with sateen and you'll get a really neat collar because you can pin push out the points of the collar really neatly and because you've got all this detail here, you'll be able to get that with this lighter sateen and it's got really vibrant colours. I've used this to make a uh, McCall's dress for a teen and it looked really, really pretty. My next fabric has a sort of different vibe to it, a little bit more traditional. This one is a 97% cotton and 3% spandex. So it's got that element of stretch there. It's 58 inches wide. Be nice for um, girls' dresses, little girls' dresses, because you can get a nice, you would get quite a big skirt if you wanted one because it's quite firm. It's heavier than the last fabric. This one is more of a medium weight. And I've paired it with the Lisette pyjama pattern, Butterick B6296. It's similar to the Carolyn pyjamas pattern, so if you have the Carolyn pyjamas pattern, uh, that would work too. I like it for pyjamas because it's got that element of spandex in it, so you can make the pyjama bottoms the size that you want and have a little bit of uh, bedtime wiggle room. It's really, really pretty. You see that element of stretch there just pulling down. It's not so vibrant. It's a little more classic. Sateen can also be used for men's clothes. It makes brilliant shirts because it's got such a close weave and you can get some really vibrant colours. And they're not all floral. I thought this would be fabulous for a men's shirt, a summer men's shirt. Again, it's got that element of stretch in it. So you can make quite a close fit um, shirt with an, uh, darts in the back or quite a close fit sleeve, that sort of surface style shirt. It's 97% cotton, 3% spandex. That's what gives it the stretch. And it's 55 inches wide. It's medium weight. So uh, it's fine for a long sleeve shirt as well. And the pattern that I've chosen is McCall's 6972. You can also make the trousers from that pattern, but I don't know if anyone would like floral trousers, but I chose it for the shirt. But you can also get that boys shirt, which you don't often get. So that's boys three to four, five to six, seven to eight, or men's small, medium, large and XL. And XL is 46 to 48 inch chest 
got that sort of summer open neck collar on for a tropical summer shirt. Not all sateens have a pattern. You can also get solids as well, which is really useful if you want to make um, boys and men's clothes. So this is the Birda 7381 pattern and you can make cargo shorts or inseam pocket shorts with an elasticated waist like this. And this is the heaviest sateen I'm showing you. It's got 10% stretch in the width, which is useful when you're just making shorts so that you get um, a little bit of ease for sitting down. And this is heavy, so it's opaque, so it's ideal for uh, shorts. It comes in 18 different colours. This one's called Forest. would also make a really structured item so if you wanted a winter skirt you could get quite a structured item it pleats really really well if you get sateen and you press it into a pleat it stays in a pleat really well so this heavyweight sateen in a solid colour is going to be matched today with Birda 7381 one of my favourite pattern designs for today is this John Caldor Lizano cotton satin is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And it's got, this one has got a slight sheen, a bit of a luster on it. So it's got a real special feel to it. It's lightweight. There's no stretch in this one. So you want to be sure of your fit. It's 57 inches wide and 100% cotton. I'm actually going to put this in my saves because I love that. It's a really nice summer fabric. The background is a sort of uh, very pale, sagey silver colour. And the pattern I've chosen is for uh, a vintage pattern, which is 8736. I think some of the um, sleeves would look beautiful. I think um, all of these little features, it will make lovely colour because it presses really well. It is a lightweight one, so you could even get away with having this uh, larger balloon sleeve. That's really nice. A 1940s blouse pattern by Simplicity. Oh, look at it. So beautiful. I'm going to show you another solid pattern now. This one is uh, by John Caldor and this is called Ursula Rose Gold. Now you can definitely see the sheen on that one but it has a very different feel to the others. It feels more like a thick crepe and that's because it's 98% polyester. It's 58 inches wide, lovely and opaque so perfect for making dresses without having to line them. It's got a little bit of stretch there it's got 2% spandex in it, but you get a much better drape with that one than any of the cotton sateens, but it does have that sort of crepe feel. And the pattern I've chosen are the Megan Nielsen Tanya Colottes. And you can see why I've chosen this fabric with more drape, because you want to make your collots a little bit invisible there on that centre line. And you've got quite a lot of fabric draping down. So you want something that's not going to sort of stick out at the sides, which some of the other more structured sateens would do. This pattern goes from a 24 waist up to a 38 waist. That's a zero to size 20. Here's my second version of a polyester sateen. So this one is really classic, looks very sophisticated and that's got the shine, the same as the rose gold one. Very smooth, lots of drape, feels like a heavy crepe. And that's really ideal for skirts and blouses and dresses. And there's a beautiful example of this fabric being used in a dress.
you can see the spot is quite large even on um, a dress design and the pattern that I've chosen is the axis dress lots on this pattern an expensive indie pattern but a lot to go at you know you've got dresses and skirts there and that tie element which gives you a little bit of breathing room when you're um, choosing your sizing it goes from UK size 6 to 20 and it's an intermediate pattern it asks for light to medium weight woven fabrics so this one would be perfect you would just need to make sure along your back seam with your zip that you get a little bit of pattern matching it's 98% polyester and it's 58 inches wide it also looks good as a peplum so if you want to make a top with a peplum around the bottom because it's got that element of drape you'll get a really nice peplum that shows off the sheen and the shine if floral dresses aren't your thing and you prefer to wear trousers then you uh, sateen is great for trousers because it's it's opaque so you don't have to line it and you can get quite um, a firm fabric in sateen if you check out the weight so if it says heavy or medium then you're onto a good one for, for trousers and i've chosen this houndstooth sateen because i think it would make really classic workwear trousers it's 57 inches wide it's got a little bit of stretch so you've got some ease for sitting down so none in that direction so make sure if you want to take advantage of that stretch that you put your um, trouser pieces with the stretch going around your hips and a really classic cigarette trouser like those would be perfect in sateen this is Birda 7062 got a side zip and creases in the front paired with black or white top absolutely great or you could even wear a neon color on the top to really make uh, a statement but that is a medium weight but it is opaque and this sateen has a similar sort of weight to the one I'm wearing a little bit um, less maybe a medium weight fabric this one is it's got the same sort of color palette that sort of uh, lovely china blue and then the darker tones that hold it all down and this one's got a good amount of stretching as well so this would be perfect for a dress that you're trying to fit it's really nice you can hear it's quite a thick fabric you wouldn't make a shirt from this it would be way way too thick it would however be perfect for McCall's 7714 now this dress could be made in a cotton or a poly cotton I'm thinking this one here but you because it's got a fitted one on as well you could actually get the fitted sort of wiggle dress shape as well using a sateen that's got a slight stretch to it I like this pattern because it has a lot of fitting options so the one that I made for my daughter has it has a waistband here that bit there so you can adjust that so you can get your waistline in the right place it's got princess seams so you can get your bust line in the right place the sleeves are quite small just a little cap sleeve and then to get the fullness there are pleats here and it's also got pockets so it's a good one I made a small version of this for my daughter I went down to a size um, 6 and then I took the princess seams in a little bit that's a sateen as well so McCall's 7714 I'm matching that with this medium weight sateen
because sateen washes really well and doesn't lose its colour like um, I made this dress a long time ago I've worn it to a lot of weddings and parties and um, so if you make some basic wardrobe staples with sateen they won't lose their colour now this is a plain sateen and you can see look you're just getting that luster it's not shiny but it is sort of an optical illusion of being slightly shiny because it, it has got a very matte finish as well like because it's opaque so some classic base items also look great in sateen and this is a real basic pattern this is the Liesl & Co pencil skirt goes 0 to 20 that's a 25 inch waist up to uh, 38 and a half it has got a little detail on it, which is it's got some little panels in the side. So you could mix your fabrics if that's your thing. You could do the front and back in uh, a plaid and then you could add some sateen in the sides that's patterned. But really, if you want a basic pattern, uh, a basic item of clothing, then plain is really great because then you can wear a lot of different things with that. In fact, the 1940s vintage blouse would look great worn with a pencil skirt. It's classed as medium weight, it's 57 inches wide and it's got 15% stretch because there's a little bit of spandex in there making it perfect if you can get your pencil skirt fit really good. Talking of sheen, this is um, another Lizano. This one has definitely got a sort of luster to it. It's uh, It says it's green but it really isn't. Um, you can see it's a real turquoise colour with those large, vibrant flower prints that Sateen's very renowned for. This one's got no stretch. It's 57 inches wide. It's um, in the more expensive price bracket, but it feels it. It's really, really smooth. would make a beautiful shirt dress, um, especially a shirt dress with a, a larger skirt in that sort of vintage style that would look really really great the pattern that i've chosen is also a dress that is the megan nielsen river dress and you can see there you can get the fit a little bit with a tie you can make a top or a dress and this fabric would do either of those it's got a really nice sleeve on it with a little cuff just adding a little bit more shape than it just shooting off the end of your shoulders so this one is the Lizano 100% cotton. My final pick is a special occasion dress and I've picked McCall 7720. And the reason I've chosen it is it because it has this re these really deep pleats and that's what you'll get from sateen. You'll get that structured um, pleat and very, very full skirt. The fabric is quite thick a sort of medium weight one so this one is thicker than the last one definitely more um the same thickness that i'm wearing now and it's a red on white it's a 97 percent cotton three percent spandex and it's 58 inches wide so you'll be able to cut that really big skirt on it you could make the whole dress in this or you could go for um, the two-tone here so that it could be all made in it or you could go for a two-tone and I would recommend you try a crepe with it so if you have a crepe on the top so you'd have a lined bodice of soft crepe and then you'd have that very structured skirt on the bottom so that's my special occasion ending to today's video Sateen is perfect for making shift dresses as well because you can press a dart to near invisibility um, because it's such a thick fabric and often it's made of cotton. You can put quite a hot steam press on it and you will eliminate darts here or here. So it's really good for a shift dress because you can get a shift silhouette um, and take that shape in without hardly noticing. 
All of the fabrics that I've used are listed below along with the patterns and if you'd like to see what other people have made with sateen you can click on the fabrics and see what people have made. You can also click on the patterns and see the range of fabrics. I've suggested sateen today um, and I've tried to match the weights to the patterns but if you look what other people have made that's a really good starting place. If you've seen a fabric today that you really like, like I really like that silvery grey one but I'm not um, in my sewing queue to use that right now i'm going to click on saves and save it into my uh, tops and blouses section of my saves it's a great way to uh, look up fabric that you've seen and then it's very difficult to look for again thank you very much for watching see you again soon